Okay, welcome to this video, integer addition and subtraction rule summary. I just wanted to make one final video on on the uh, addition and subtraction of integers just to summarize the rules that we've gone over and we established through the past several videos. And that way you've got one final video if you want to just go over the rules a little bit more and make sure you've watched the other videos so that you understand where these rules come from, okay? The memorization of rules is fine, but you need to understand the concepts behind those rules because that will stick with you and be in your long-term memory as opposed to memorization, which will only get you by for a short amount of time. Okay, so let's do it this way. Let's look at addition first. So addition, addition of a positive number positive I'm going to use the symbol for number so it's faster addition of a positive number is the same as adding that number adding that number okay that shouldn't be a surprise to you at all you've been doing that for years okay now addition addition of a negative negative number is the same as subtracting subtracting that number and that would be new for you if, if you're new to integer operations same as subtracting that number okay then we'll, we'll work some brief examples here in a minute. So we'll do rule one here, rule two here. So we keep this straight. I'll, I'm going to underline positive and adding. And I'm going to underline negative here, negative, subtracting. So we kind of keep some of these you can see the difference here so these two are addition also put a big plus sign out here so we keep that that's for addition okay all right rule three rule three for subtraction subtracting subtracting uh, and I thank you for putting up with my terrible handwriting okay subtracting a positive number subtracting a positive number is the same as subtracting <coughs> subtracting that number subtracting that number okay so we'll do green for positive, red for subtracting. Okay. Now, rule four, subtracting, subtracting a negative number is the same is the same as adding that number. Okay, so let's do our underlying here. Uh, adding and subtracting. Okay, put our big negative right here. Okay. So, real quick, let's just do some examples here. So, we'll do rule one right here. Rule one example. Addition of a positive is the same as adding that number. Okay, so that would be like three plus a positive, positive three. Okay. 
is the same as just 3 plus 3, right? Adding this number, adding 3. All of that equals 6, right? All right, rule 2 example. Rule 2, rule 2. Okay, addition of a negative number is the same as subtract, subtracting that number. So let's just, we'll stay with threes. Why not? Three plus a negative number. So we'll do negative three this time. Three plus a negative three is the same as subtracting that number. So this right here is the same. Okay, so that's going to equal zero, right? Okay. Okay, I'm going to make some notes over here so you can see that adding this plus and this negative three, adding this negative number uh, basically became the same as subtracting, right? So I'm, I'm just going to put same as right here. Same as so that you know that's what that is. Okay, all right, continuing on. Two more rules to cover. Rule three says, rule three says that subtracting a positive number is the same as subtracting that number. Okay, that's, that's nothing new for you, right? So subtracting a positive number, so three minus, subtracting a positive number, three minus all right, a positive three, put this part, because this is the key part. Three minus a positive three will be the same, I'm gonna put this in red now, is the same as three, same as subtracting that same number. So three minus three is going to be zero, right? Subtracting that positive is the same as just subtracting this number, okay? Adding this negative number is the same as just subtracting this number. As adding this positive number is the same as just adding this number. Okay? Alright, rule four. Last one. Rule four. Rule four. Subtracting a negative number. So we'll do this. Three minus... Subtracting a negative number is the same as adding that number. It's the same as adding that number. So 3 plus 3 equals 6. Okay. So notice here, okay, I'll do what I did before. So subtracting a negative number is the same as adding this number right here which is what we did, okay? So that is a summary of the rules that we have established and you can see uh, a lot of similarities. I mean basically what you're, here's what's happening. When the signs are the same, both the operation sign and the sign in front of the integer, positive, positive, you're going to be adding. You're, it's the same as adding. If you have a, an operation sign of subtraction, which is negative, of a negative number, so subtracting a negative number, that is the same as adding that number. When the signs are, again, same, same, that is the same as adding here. You see rule one and four are the same. All right, and then for the signs that are different, rule two and rule three is the same as subtracting. Okay, so I think you've seen that and that was established well enough in, in the videos that we did, but I did want you to have a basic rule summary that you could refer to uh, for reference. Alright, so I will see you in the next video.